So this is Starsky and Hutch. Stay, stay successful. I can't. I'm dead. Oh, he has chicken pox? Wait, <laughs> what? The red nodules all over Bo? You're calling him chicken pox? That's just rude, dude. I actually do think he looks pretty decent right now. I'm agreeing with Nate. He's beautiful. Ken Hutchinson and Dave Starsky, huh? I don't think I've ever watched Starsky and Hutch. Oh, this isn't what you... Wait, what do you think it was? If not this. I thought it was the dog and the bear thing. Or was it rabbit and dog? Where I have no idea what you're talking about off the top of my head. <laughs> the, are you talking about the... The A-Boo-Boo guy? I don't know what's going on. Uh, S-T-R... How many letters can we put on our license plate? We can put enough. That's all that matters. Do, do, do. Definitely not Yogi. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Uh, subtitles on, please. Minimap stationary. I think the screen's pretty well centered, right? Yeah, it's centered enough. Audio, I think the audio is... Okay, yeah, I don't think we need to change anything. So there's a free roam, a TV special? Stunt special shooting? So wait, are those like episodes that we can watch? Or like... A free roam mode? Cool, cool. Whatever, let's just go right into the uh, story mode, I guess. Holy shit. So wait, there's three seasons and each one has six episodes, so 18 levels? Not bad, not bad. Normally a busy and dangerous place. Perfect for keeping two detectives jumping who like to play the game their own way. Now Starsky likes his burgers, and anytime things get quiet, he's looking to eat. Sure you don't want one, Hutch? But today, they sure didn't stay quiet for long. All units, Area 1, 480 in progress. Suspect in blue sedan, traveling east on 4th Street. Wait, is this like just a driving game? Dude, we lost again. Poor guy. Y'all are just getting Bo's ass kicked tonight, man. <laughs> like, primary objective, a speeding stolen car is causing mayhem on the streets of Bay City. Stop the blue suspect hoop by any means. Secondary objective, destroy 20 cardboard boxes. Interesting. Okay. So wait, is this like a uh, driver meets Tony Hawk? Is that <laughs> with like the sub objectives and stuff? You fed, I did see you fed him. Thank you for feeding him. We both appreciate that. That's our guy. He's in flight. Get him. Ah, hold on one sec. I need to. I forgot to update my dollar donation towards Dragon Guard. There we go. All right, resume. Uh, okay, steer with X. Uh, ooh, shoot with R1. All those buttons turn the camera. Two traffic lights to keep traffic flowing? What? Why do we want to keep traffic flowing, though? Great shot. So do we just have to, like, shoot him till he's done, or...? Right on the money. Oh, we're actually, like, shooting an episode. It just said, like... Shoot the, the bonuses to keep viewer ratings high. Oh god. Shoot barrels to cause damage? Oh. <laughs> Use ramps to boost. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh, okay. Oh, good thing we can go through that. Aw, uh, they didn't like us touching the wall? I mean, that's fair. Oh, wait, did you win the slots? Dude, nice. Oh, uh, what? We're not allowed to... Like, did we get positive or negative rate? The, the red background to the thumb-ups. Oh, we could have shot that. Diesel. Anyways, the, uh, the red background to the thumbs-up makes me think it's like a negative thing. But I think it was actually a positive thing. We 
got this. What's that? Is that just a bonus? Drive through bonus. Boost readings. Okay. Oh god. We're too fast. We're outrunning him. Oh god. <laughs> Hitting civilian traffic reduces civilian readings. I mean, I guess that's fair. I want to join the fight. The heist, I mean, but... Somebody joined the heist, so Nate's not in it by himself, man. Nice Shoot special target for big viewer rating. We're on a roll, stars. Special event? Watch out. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god, dude. I didn't think we were gonna be like shooting an episode or whatever. It's actually kind of cool. I wonder if this is what the gameplay is gonna be like the whole time, though. Ooh, enhanced tire grip. We get like bonuses for the faster that we win? Or should we just focus on getting as many like points and stuff as possible? Oh. Oh. Stop traffic. Ah. Do you both live? Hey. Nice. It takes a lot of shots to take these dudes down, huh? This car's been on fire for like 20 minutes now. There we go. Suspect stop. Let's go. <sighs> In some kind of hurry, punk? It seems like this punk was just stealing cars. For who? He wasn't saying. Maybe a visit to the courthouse will help him remember. I wasn't expecting the, like, animated cutscenes. It's kind of neat. I like it. Uh, sure. Just play next. Wait, were there like, what's the keys and stuff? What are those things? Are they collectibles? There's like keys in the photo and the badge and, hmm, don't know. Oh, my phone's like dying. Something and I left my watch downstairs. Down the Bay City Bank. <sighs> After I was withdrawal of other people's bread. Terrible. There's a heist at the Bay City Bank. Prevent the getaway van from reaching the city limits. The suspects are armed and dangerous. Secondary objective, shoot 20 gas canisters. Okay, so we get medals. I see that. So for 450 points gold, 250 silver, 100 bronze. Okay. I don't know what the keys and photos and stuff are, though. Do you need... Oh, no, it's fine, love. I'm okay. Well, <laughs> there goes your winning streak, Nick. Special withdrawal. All units, 211 in progress at Bay City Bank. Suspects believed to be armed. Exercise extreme caution. The suspects must be stopped. Get to the bank as soon as possible, okay. Ramp, Starsk. What? Hey! Ah, I just saw a video there or whatever. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> Do we have a health meter? Oh god. They got shotguns. Okay, get back. <laughs> Holy smokes. 
Shoot gun jam targets to stop suspect shooting. Interesting. How long do their guns stay jammed for? Can you, like, get in front of me? What, are, what is going on? Oh, did they go? Where did they go? Why are they all the way back there? Did we, like, break their AI or something? Double damage, nice. Can we, like... No, it doesn't seem to stack, sadly. Oh, God. Uh... <laughs> At least it, like, flipped us back over automatically. That's good. Wait, what did we get the negative for? Here's the real question. Why don't we just leave the police sirens on all the time? Oh, sorry about that, Mr. Civilian Guy. through the weapon icon to pick up a weapon. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do I want this? <laughs> Are they... I can't tell if they're on my side or not. Oh yeah, we could have had chicken balls for dinner. Or I could have, I guess. This is very true. Oh well. Maybe that's what I'll have after the, the stream or whatever. Chicken <laughs> They're like uh, chicken nuggets, but with uh, like whole chunks of meat instead of just having like you know, cheap little nuggety bits. Like, oh, oh, oh. Come on, Starsky. Where you going? It's not, a, it's not a recipe. They're frozen. <laughs> they were at, uh, my local Walmart had them on sale for, like, super cheap. So, of course, I bought them because, like, they're normally like $16 or something. I paid, I think, $4 a bag for them. And they have enough for both Noodle and I to have dinner like three times per bag. So like super, super cheap, man. They're, uh, they're actually Hot Ones branded chicken balls. So they come with like the hot one sauce too, which uh, I tried. I did not personally like. I tried the the last dab. It's spicy. It's really spicy. But other than that, for me personally, nah. Uh, and then I tried. It had two other like hot one sauces, and they were okay. But I didn't particularly like any of them. Okay, read him his rights, Hutch. Anything you might want to say, loser? I ain't saying nothing to you cops. I know what happens to squealers. While Starsky wrapped up the business of arresting the suspect, Hutch spotted the van. It had a fresh paint job, and it was bad. Something about that paint job told our heroes that their troubles were just beginning. But do they mean bad as in like, like cool or bad as in like it was a bad paint job? Because the way he like streaked his fingers down and the paint disappeared, I'm not so sure. <laughs> uh, we got a gold medal. That seems good enough. Next. What's it this time? Did a bank robbery, did a car thief. 
Now Starsky and Hutch were getting real hungry for their next slice of action. And they didn't have long to wait. Zebra 3, there's a 211 in progress at the gas and go on 7. Get your butts down there now. There's been an armed robbery at the gas and go. Get there fast and stop the white suspect coop by any means. Secondary objective, eliminate all junkyard suspects. I don't know how I feel about this game, man. Like, it's definitely not bad. But I don't know if it's engaging enough for me to want to play it for extended periods of time either. You know what I mean? Like, like the car handles fine. It's just so far, literally all you do is chase a car and repeatedly press R1. Can I shoot those people? Ow. It's fine. Everything's fine. You want to try your new coffee, but you also feel... Oh, God. Like, you shouldn't have coffee this late? You probably shouldn't, to be honest. But, I mean... What's up, you love? Oh, God damn it. I don't know how to drive. Did you get extra ratings for, uh... Oh. For drifting. <laughs> I wonder if it's possible to just like keep them trapped in an area so that they can't go anywhere. My goal is just to kill them as fast as possible. I don't know if that's the right way to play the game. Oh god, he's gonna get away. Don't worry, I'm coming. But then you won't get to try it till Monday? Why can't you try it tomorrow? Is there like some something going on tomorrow that you can't try? Does he work? Couldn't you make it before you go to work? Oh my god, dude. That was that was hard to handle. Kind of neat. The ability to drive on two wheels like that. You make iced coffee for work. You couldn't have just like normal coffee for for one day. No, like I get you normally make iced coffee or whatever, but it's one day. Like, uh, really, you just gonna pit maneuver me like that? I know we're losing them. I'm trying to catch up. Hit the turbo or something, my guy. It won't stay hot all day. Can we get the speed boost, please? Oh, my God. Uh, look out. Oh, it's these guys again. There we go. That's why I needed speed boost. Oh my god! Holy shit! This stupid freaking... Oh my god! Why can you break down fences but I can't? Oh 
I'm trying. Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Nobody ever said I was good at this. I'm gonna... There we go. Keep trying to tap the X button to shoot, and it doesn't work that way. Oh god! Oh god! We're going crazy! I literally can't freaking control myself right now. Okay. Come on, give me that speed boost. I need to catch up. Oh! Ooh. Oh god! Am I on fire? No, we're fine. It's a good thing this dude just wants to drive around in circles forever instead of, like, running away. Otherwise, he probably would have lost us by now, man. <laughs> Ooh, I think those suspects are dead. Their car blew up and they rolled over, man. That cannot be good. Another paint job. Where'd the car come from, punk? Another badly painted set of wheels, and another crime. The clues had to be connected. But this time, our two cops get lucky. The driver squeals a name. He says he got the car from a guy named Little Louie. As opposed Whoever to Big Louie, of course. His days were numbered. Noise. Wonder why little Louie doesn't learn how to paint cars better. Seems like he does a lot of painting. Think he would be better at it by now. Starsky and Hutch had only half a name. So they came to their number one cat for help. Hey, Hug. Know any Louis in the chop shop biz? Yeah, check this out. He's a real shifty dude. Little Louie Abgar. The cat moves a lot of painted wheels from his joint downtown. Get to Louis' shop shop and stop the brown car before it reaches the city limits, but take Louis Apgar alive. Secondary objective, destroy the blue car. Is there only going to be one blue car? I assume there will only be one blue car shooting at us, at least. <laughs> Maybe that's our, our uh, hint for which blue car to go after. To Louis Chop Shop and stop the brown car. Take Louis Apgar alive. If he's in the car, that Time might be trouble, Apgar man. A visit, huh, Hutch? Yeah, let's roll. It's a good thing our car seems to be uh, invincible. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Jeez, Starsky. <laughs> I missed everything. Ollie, I jumped right over the car like normal, man. Or the, the ramp like normal. I don't know. Oh shit, I'm not going the right way. Whatever, it's fine. Demon Lord 8249. <laughs> What's up, my guy? How you doing uh, tonight? Uh, words? Words are hard. Hello. <laughs> oh god, thank you. I needed those viewer ratings. That slow-mo was on point. That. Wait, so the main objective is brown card. Blue is a sub-objective. Luca. <laughs> oh, God. Where'd they go? Ah, oh, I was looking at chat. Where's the car? There we go. Oh god, we're I'm totally gonna run off points. We just got off work. Nice, man. Played this game when I was younger. You can actually play this with local co-op. See, that would be pretty cool. Although, can like the other player, the player that's shooting, can they like aim at all? Or is it just auto-aim like how it is here? Oh, shit, I think we're actually gonna lose this one, man. Hey, we were supposed yep. to find that cat One person Yeah, it's man manual aim if you remember correctly. I do think that'd be more fun. That actually sounds pretty cool. Next time my brother comes over or something, maybe we'll try it out. 
That sounds like a pretty nice time, then. Also, I just realized there's only audio coming out of one channel. Or the music, at least. The music was only playing on the right channel, not on the left. That's weird. Has it been like that this entire time? <laughs> I just realized, like, sometimes my headphones sound a little bit louder in the right ear than the left. I don't know if I'm just going deaf or if my headphones are a little wonky. Um, so I just kind of thought it was that. But then I was like, that sounds like it's only coming out of the right side. Turned it up. And yeah, sure enough, dude. It was mono and not even, like duplicated mono stereo mono or whatever the hell it's actually called legit mono weird so demon lord you gonna start playing uh to pay Apka a visit huh, Hutch? yeah you gonna start Let's playing roll. grounded with optijack and i every other friday Fuck you gonna out. make it but, okay well at least we made it this time we didn't hit any of the things, but... Okay, can we just make it there? You yeah, know, this song's definitely only playing out of one ear. Uh... Excuse me? Thank you. Stop the ground card. You got it, man. I feel like every game I play on PS2, I wish I had one of those uh, controllers with the... the turbo button on it, like more and more, dude. <laughs> so many games on the PS2, you just gotta like mash a button repeatedly. And it, my finger is so worn out already. My R2 finger. <laughs> Remember this game also being poorly reviewed. Critically, it got a 4 or 5 out of 10. Oof, rough. From what I've played of it so far, which isn't a ton, but from what I've played of it so far, actually, I don't really mind it. Like, I don't think it's like the best game I've ever played or anything. The only problem I have with it so far, other than the fact that my finger's worn the hell out already, is uh, I do think that like it would get old pretty quick right like I couldn't see myself wanting to play this for extended periods of time nope you cannot just hold down the trigger I'm I'm holding it down right now and yeah see it's just not doing anything right if you tap it repeatedly then there you go <laughs> now maybe that's an option in the controls though uh options controls nope just turns vibration on and off that's it that's too bad you had my hopes up also i just realized we've been focused on the wrong car this entire time but like oh well blue car's almost dead oh shit the brown one went a different direction oh god can you catch up to him before our ratings hit like zero I need speed boost, please. Quickly now, quickly. If you can now, your shift manager, your schedule might start being somewhat consistent, so we'll see. Go through. We'd love to have you. We've gotten uh, two of the chips so far, I think. And we started making like new gear and stuff to get the third chip in grounding. So it's not like, you're not like super far behind from where we played before or anything, but you know, getting there. All right, all right, don't shoot, I'm clean. What's with the cars, Louie? Been to any gas stations lately? After running like a scared rabbit, little Louie's ready to talk. Figures he can save his hide by squealing to the cops. But man, he's so scared he's not saying nothing until he's safe from the dude he's gonna rat on. Looks like Starsky and Hutch have a new job. 
babysitting one big squealer. Do you get to write the police reports accounting for the 300 revolver bullets fired? For real though, man. I think they need a little bit more powerful of a gun. I mean, I admit I haven't gone around shooting that many cars, but I feel like it shouldn't take that many to stop a single car, you know? <laughs> it's kind of, kind of crazy, my guy. refreshing water you're off today you'll probably be on around two i may or may not be on it depends how asleep i am at that point <laughs> if optijack's up for it i wouldn't mind trying to hop on for for a little bit after the stream coincidentally that's right around the time the stream ends so i could play a little bit but i have to get off no later than three so i wouldn't be able to play much if you guys so do get on guys in the striped tomato had to escort little louis car all the way to the safe pad and some of Carlton Breezy's boys aren't so happy to see the little Louie get there in one piece, if you dig what I mean. Primary objective, Louis Apgar is being taken to a safe house. Follow the unmarked police car and protect it from any suspect vehicles. Wait, 2 p.m.? No, no, 2 a.m. I used 24-hour time, my guy. <laughs> you had me... <laughs> Did you mean 2 p.m.? I consider today, like, right now, before we go to sleep or whatever, um, I would consider 2 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> so, you meant 2 p.m. Oh, uh, I'll be at work, sadly. This. Yeah, I know what you mean. So, do not shoot this car. It's weird us being in, like, an actual car, cop car. Danger ahead. Oh god, they're they're everywhere. What? Ah! Don't let me shoot Louis. I'm not trying to hit him. I'm sorry. Where's this black car? Where? Danger ahead? I don't see it. Okay, this this mode might be a pain in the ass. Stop the black heart. I would love to. I'm gonna end up shooting the blue car too many times. I already know it, man. Oh my god, I can't. I can't go anywhere. Not oh, meant to shoot him. Co-op is much easier for these missions due to the manual. I imagine, man. It's so easy to accidentally shoot the target through the auto. I know. That's what I was just thinking. Like, I'm totally going to end up shooting him, dude. Murdering the dude we're trying to protect here. Like, how is he still driving after all that? Weird that the music is still the same speed despite the game going slow mo. You know, I wouldn't have even noticed that probably if you hadn't pointed out. Ah, shit! I'm sorry, Louis. Come on, die, black car. That's true. Audio does usually run at full speed and. In games, it seems like. Nice Even whenever they're slow mo or whatever. Oh god, sorry. Keep with them, I'm trying. Lock on to the right car, thank you. I, I'm too scared to shoot right now because I can't see who I'm locked on to. I don't know if I actually like the speed boost, man. I end up going so much faster than the target car. Why did you hit maneuver me, dude? 
Oh god, I almost got crushed. Turn around, turn around, turn around. I hope this stupid safe house isn't too much farther away. Can I not shoot over there? Stop who from killing Louie? Oh god, no. Don't let that fall on me. Okay. Nice. Okay. Hopefully that was it. Is this real hardware? Yes, it, it is real hardware. I play all of my PS2 games on real hardware. Actually, everything I've played so far I've played on real hardware on Twitch. The only questionable thing, I guess, would be... Uh, oh, there's another chase car we got to deal with? The only questionable thing, I guess, would be when we played uh, a couple Game Boy Advance games. I did technically play them on real hardware but it was the Game Boy player for for GameCube so it was like official hardware and it basically just has a Game Boy Advance inside of it but it's not like you know I didn't play on a Game Boy Advance though. oh no shoot the blue car not the blue car oh my god right thankfully the reticule like damn it to get him there in one piece. I, uh, <laughs> trying to say, thankfully, the reticule turns blue on the one you don't want to shoot, but uh, in the heat of the moment, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Also, good night, Rue. Sorry, I couldn't really keep up with the uh, the messages that much. I was trying to focus, but uh, have a good night, man. Thank you for coming and hanging out for a bit. You school in the morning and a semi-fancy dinner at night and shopping to do. Fun, huh? <laughs> now, I hope your dinner goes well and I don't know how you feel about shopping. Sometimes it sucks. Sometimes it's fun. It's the driving equivalent of your walking speed being too slow for your sprint. Exactly, dude. Although, actually, I'd say, generally speaking, the regular driving speed's pretty good until you mess up. Then the turbo really helps out, like, to catch back up. Because once you get behind, it can be a little bit hard to catch up without it, but... Yeah. No? What do you mean no? Just no what? You know what? I think you're no. Demon Lord. 8249. <laughs> you know. You know why you're no, man. I really don't want to do this mission over again. <laughs> it's the first time I've actually been kind of like meh with this game so far just like I don't know if I want to keep playing right now it's kind of a mechanic yeah yeah you can mention it man the only time I really care like I'm backseating doesn't really bother me unless like you're persistent that I do something right like if you bring it up once and I either ignore it or say you know I'm not really that interested in it then whatever uh, but yeah don't feel like you can't bring something up Oh, that's a crit. Okay, I knew that that happened with like it turning red. I didn't know that was a crit though. That's cool. Watch out! Oh god, hello. So maybe it would be better then to not like to not spam. Great shot. Is it doing enough damage to? Be worth it though? I legitimately can't tell. It's also like. Uh, I guess you get more viewership from it. I was gonna say, like, shots also give you, like, better viewership every time you hit them or whatever. out for what also where's this other dude at man there he is Don't run over the civilians, get in Martin. front of me man i can't shoot you back there Keep with them, Good move, oh you 
bastard. You seem rather tanky in general? Yes, very much so. At the very least, though, doing the, the trying to go for the crits will help save my finger from a bunch of wear. And it does seem to be doing, I don't know if it's doing like enough damage to outpace how quickly you could otherwise shoot, but at the very least it's not like, you know, no damage. It is a decent amount. Because he's already like, what, three quarters of the way dead? And we've mostly only done critical shots. Mostly. Right now? Right now what? Bro. Where are you? There you go. Stretch? Oh, did you? Ah, we got a stretch. Dude, okay. Sorry, stretch doesn't pop up on my screen, so. <laughs> oh, God, that felt good. Stretch to the right. Stretch to the left. Oh, good stuff. Stretch out the legs, the ankles. Don't forget the ankles. Oh, man. Honestly, I've been a little, like, exhausted and just sore lately. I don't know if I'm just, like, getting sick or what, but that stretch felt good. Thank you, my guy. Thank you. I'm trying to take him out. Stop them from killing me. That's the goal. No, oh, we got pit maneuvered by a freaking semi truck. Did the semi just hit that pole? Oh, God, don't. There we go. Double damage crits. He seemed to die at about the same spot, so maybe it's like, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. At the very least, we haven't shot Louie yet, so that's good. I'll take the wins as I can get them. Oh god, I almost shot the wrong blue car. I don't even care about the viewership right now, as long as it doesn't get below, like, zero, or get to zero or whatever. I just want to try to beat this mission. My lunch is made, you're getting your shower? Okay, enjoy your shower, and thank you for lunch, though. I appreciate you. Damn, dude. Come on, he is under that. How? How? They killed- How? Louie was fine! <laughs> Nobody was touching Louie! I think it's because I dropped that stupid crate, and the dude was stuck under it, and Louie, instead of, like, I don't know, just backing up, just kept driving into him and taking, like, constant damage. I'm assuming that's what happened. Either that or this blue car's gun is a lot more powerful than the other people's guns that we've dealt with so far damage he takes might be based on proximity yeah i was thinking i was thinking either that or just like literally the fact that like you know he was touching him like it may be not necessarily like be within five feet but it may have been just contact like a hitbox trigger or something like that but i don't know i wasn't watching his health though so i'm not sure how quickly it went down. Maybe he was already low health and I just missed it. Can you skip the cutscene? No. Hang on. Got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I know what you mean. Got a bad feeling about this too, dude. Oh, God. Uh. Uh, no. Please help. I don't. I. I don't know how we ended up here. I do not want to be here. 
Uh, dude, I, I really don't want... I don't, I don't... I don't know how we got in first person. Triangle. Okay. Is there like a farther view? No. Freaking random, dude. Die. It's died like three times. Yeah. Oh god, we're gonna we're gonna run out of freaking viewers, dude. Ah! I hate this freaking mission. I was like, you know what? The game's not really that bad. I take it back. I take it all back. This game sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> Got to tag in Twitch chat for local co-op. If only, dude. That would be fantastic. I would love to experience it. Like, see what it's like. Maybe I should just plug in a second controller and do single player co-op. <laughs> That'd be so bad, man. <laughs> trying to steer with one hand and uh, accelerate while also trying to, like, aim and shoot with the other. So the cops don't do their jobs if they don't have views. Yeah, that's how it works, man. They don't get paid in money. They get paid in views. <laughs> or their pay is based off the number of views they get. There we go. That's how it is. Sure. Got Whatever. I don't, about this. Yeah, I I don't what know what I'm mean. talking about. Words just come out of my mouth. I'm assuming that we're shooting like a TV show. Is what I was assuming. Because like it is described like on the main menu as seasons and episodes and whatnot. Good guys. Can this yellow card come back, please? Maybe says since automatic doesn't give players the ability to quickly select the icons they want. Come on. Ah, stupid cop cars just making things worse, dude. You're not helping. A little messy, a little simplistic, and at best, it just makes one glad the game isn't being sold at full price. The enemy AI isn't necessarily hard to kill, but it's definitely wily. Yes. Time seems like the last little stretch of his health lasts way too long. Also, yes. I agree with all of these things that are being said. I'm assuming this is like a copy paste from the IGN review or something. I don't think it's necessarily a bad game, just a flawed game, right? I think it's kind of the best way to put it. So why does Louis slow down so much when we're not, like, on his ass, man? Just freaking go, dude. You don't have to wait for us. I'm distracting the bad guy. You go where you need to go, dude. Keep with them, Starsky. Oh, there's awful slowdowns? I haven't experienced that yet. I don't know if that's something that's only a problem like later in the game or what. Like, yeah, you could get away with a virtual overclock until the entire game's running at like 200 frames per second. And I feel like there's a good chance speed is tied to FPS in this game. So everything would just be running like super speed all the time. 
like 15, 20 FPS instead of 30. I mean, look, I played through Ocarina of Time on the N64, all right? <laughs> that entire game was 20 FPS. God, Louie, freaking, mm, I hate you so much. I don't know if I've actually said anything good about this game yet, but I take it back. He's close to death. Yo, I thought I shot Louie there, dude. Oh, damn it, the second one's here now? This is bad. The good one? This is the good one. Where's the bad one? There's the bad one. Okay, he still has like three quarters health. It's definitely draining faster, I feel like, with this enemy than the other one. Maybe that's just coincidence, though. Come on, get a crit. Come on back, dude. Come you keep shooting Louie like he's dozens of meters away from the enemy guard. I'm sorry. It's hard. Come on, dude. Is there a way to give Louie like more health? I think he's wasted. I'm not positive, man. They only said he is like three times. I would love to keep with them. I can't even see them, though. What's the point of keeping up with Louie when the enemy's right here? Lock on to him, dude. Close, man. Damn it. Oh, damn, dude. Come on. No, 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 no. Please. Please, please, please. <laughs> no Louis shots. Just die. Please just die. I really hope there's not a third enemy to deal with. Come on, he's so close now, dude. Let's go. Okay. Please tell me that's it. Catch up to Louis before something bad happens. What happens if we shoot the other police cars? Like... Oh, it looks like we should lose viewers. Whatever, at this point. Did you know one of the Dark Souls games, weapon durability was supposedly tied to your FPS? If you went over 60, your weapon would degrade faster? Why? <laughs> That's so weird, man. Weapon durability, of all things, tied to FPS. Normally, it's like, you know, the game, the entire game, or the physics engine, or something like that. I wouldn't expect just, like... Weapon durability. Please tell me we're almost there, dude. There's one more shot and Louis's dead, so I'm scared to shoot anything. Oh, right there. That's it, right? Let's go, dude. I think what it is is the way it's coded is that every game frame your weapon is colliding with a wall or enemy. Weapon durability is decreased. Oh. You said you okay. wanted safe. Sure, I guess well, that makes sense. Safe. Now what's on your mind? Just like the rat that he is, little Louie is only thinking of his own neck. 
So he drops the name, Carlton Breezy. Says the guy is in the auto body business. Runs a new auto repair. Man, that cat's a bad wind blowing. Just how bad? Starsky and Hutch would soon find out. That was a weird case. Uh, <laughs> anyways, see, I would have thought it would have been like, uh, um, like every attack you lose a certain amount of durability or every attack that lands or something like that. I didn't consider that it could be literally every frame that it's colliding with something. That makes sense. A terrible way to code it, but like, <laughs> cause I, mean, I guess they probably had the game locked to a certain FPS, but still. In general, I think that's just a terrible way to, to code games. Like, it, I guess it made sense on, say, old, like, retro consoles, like the Nintendo or something like that, right? I guess that makes sense, because you're pretty sure, like, you're going to get this consistent frame rate all the time or whatever. But on modern consoles with modern games, man, unless you're targeting 30 or whatever, it's, uh, it's so easy for frame rates to fluctuate that yeah i don't know it just seems like a bad idea in general but just looked it up actually it was the opposite every frame it wasn't colliding with something <laughs> the weapon durability decreased what do you mean the opposite wow how was it the opposite i'm more confused now demon lord <laughs> Because what Suzuka said so actually made sense. Crazy. Like, was the new auto repair as a front. Oh, nice you were legit. mistaken. Okay, Sweet okay. Deal. Except this time, Starsky and Hutch are waiting to pounce. When you go over 41, that is such a weird number as well. It's not even like over 60 or over 30, you know, one of the normal ones. That's weird. Chase Carlton Breezy's limo and apprehend him before he makes his getaway at the docks. Okay, okay, I think we can do that. Certainly try at least. That's very why. <laughs> Did the web page or article or whatever you read explain why that happens? Weapon has double durability. Starsky, I can't stay tight on Freezy's limo. Light glue. Too bad we gotta take the I literally alive. can't think of a reason why. Because, like, there would be more collision happening per, like, second or whatever. Because, uh, like Suzuka mentioned, you know, every frame you're going to get, be touching it so much or whatever. Uh, or for, like, every minute of gameplay. At 60 FPS, you'd be touching something twice as often as, like, 30 FPS. All it says is that it's a bug. Weird. Suspects dead ahead. Going for crits. Lock him out, stars. Whoa, he's dead. Oh, God. Okay, well. I don't know if the siren really helps down here. Doesn't the siren just stop civilian traffic? Oh boy, that's a big jump. I was waiting for us to like jump that perfectly wrong to where we get stuck on the freaking bridge. Turns out that's why PC players actually play. Oh shit! I thought those were like boxes we could go through easier time because it was running at 60 FPS PC players had. Oh, that is so Get weird, away. man. The game coding is just a pain, uh, a pain when you have a variable frame rate. Yeah, I mean, I get that. And I wouldn't necessarily disagree, but like, modern game engines are, it's not that hard to deal with in most cases like that, right? Like, I only really have experience with Unity as far as modern game engines go. But like, you can just, for, for anything that's going to vary, 
like, say, uh, a run speed or something like that, you can just uh, lock it to a delta time, so how long it takes for each frame to render. That way you have a, uh, a frame rate dependent value that you can then edit a value off of, right? Um, or, alternatively, you can use a fixed frame rate part of the engine, that being the physics updates, to do calculations. Uh, and there's certain calculations you should always do on that one, uh, mainly being physics based. Stuff, but yeah. Still, yeah, I mean, it can still cause a lot of headaches, especially if it's not something you're thinking of consistently. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I've never worked on a AAA game or anything like that, obviously, but. For my personal projects, which are relatively small in scope, I've never had that much issue with it. <laughs> like, but I don't know. And as far as what engine they use, uh, I don't know. I would imagine it probably is a proprietary engine. But I would... I mean, I guess not. But I would have thought before today that they would have had uh, code in there. to help manage like uh, frame rate stuff especially because like say you have something fixed to a frame rate frame rate's gonna change even if you have the entire game locked to like 40 fps or something stupid right and then you make sure that every level can can consistently load at 40 fps what happens then whenever later on in development you find a way to make the game a little more efficient and now, instead of 40 FPS, it, it consistently runs at 50. Do you just say, screw it, we're staying at 40 FPS anyways? Because that's, that's what we decided? Like, it's weird, dude. I don't know. I, I, I just don't understand their decision there, I guess. But Also, I think we got up in front of them somehow. Yeah, there he is. What are you doing, Mr. Game AI? Sir? I'm trying to shoot me. There we go. Oh, Super Meat Boy, there's a glitch involving this kind of thing. If you run along a flat surface, you'll move you a certain amount of distance according me. to the frame the rate. Here, dude. Can it, Breezy? You, are you know, I think I've seen that in the speed run of it before, actually, now that you mention it. But the pile of bucks in the trunk was all Starsky and Hutch needed to put them away for good. Seems like. Little Breezy was nothing but a load of hot air after all. As our main men relax with Breezy behind bars, they share a drink and shoot the breeze with yours truly. So, Huggy, you ever heard of this Breezy? Well, not on my beat, man. He's a new name to me. Let's hope he sing some more new names, eh, Huggy? Hey, excuse me, gentlemen. I got some important business right over here i didn't want to talk over the the thing there the cutscene. but yeah no uh as far as that goes the moving past walls and over pits until you unhang the game um running at a super low fps can mess with a lot of modern uh engines because normally for hit detection right you have two hit boxes you have the hitbox on, say, a wall, and then the hitbox on you. And then if they collide with each other, the uh, game engine will just push you outside of that value, like as close as you can be without actually going inside it. And that's how, you know, it's supposed to work, say at like 60 FPS or whatever. But then if you're moving the same speed, let's say, I don't know, 10 meters per second, and you have a one meter thick wall, right? Just throwing random values out there. Normally you'd be fine, because even if you're moving 10 meters per second, you divide that by a frame rate like 60. So in game, you would only be moving, you know, however many meters per frame, which is less than one meter per second. So you would, the game engine would detect that you collide with that wall, you'd get pushed out, everything would be fine. But then you lower the frame rate down to say five FPS, suddenly now you're moving two meters per frame so if you line it up correctly you would one frame you would be on the left side of the wall the next frame you would be on the other side of the wall and you'd be able to glitch right through it that way um for for a low frame rate so 
the way around that would be to check to see if you're passing through a wall, not only if you collide with a wall from frame to frame, but that's a lot more calculations that can slow things down and whatnot. And generally speaking, the way that it's done now, or done normally, uh, is good enough. But yeah, having extremely low frame rates can actually screw with a lot of modern physics engines in, uh, in terrible ways. Um, so, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's weird. But, like, having too high of a frame rate, and again, my only real experience is with something like Unity, as long as you have things properly, like your movement speed and things like that, properly tied to, to delta time, um, that's not really an issue, right? You could run at 300 FPS or 30 FPS, and it would be fine. You're obviously, like, animations wouldn't be quite as smooth and whatnot because you're not updating as often, but there wouldn't be any physics issues, in theory at least between the two because every frame it would just update a little bit more slowly now using unity as an example is slightly cheating because unless you tweak the uh the physics engine it actually only runs at 50 fps max um you can make it run faster but it is locked to running at either 30 or between 30 and 50 fps by default if i'm not mistaken uh so Saying that it wouldn't break there, I guess, is a little bit cheating. But, like, say for 2D games, for instance, in Unity, it's not uncommon to switch the physics engine from its own time to just regular update. Every frame physics calculations are done. And uh, I've personally at least never had problems with extremely high frame rates using uh, physics inside the regular update. But, yeah. <laughs> I think there's a few ways you can combat that kind of collision chicanery. <laughs> like, you think Super Mario 64 does four collision tests and in intermediate positions for Mario? You probably just do a rate test. Yeah, exactly. That's If I were making a game where that was an issue, that's how I personally would do it, is uh, I would just take the last position, or the position from last frame, and then the position from this frame, do a uh, ray between the two, and see if I hit anything that should have been collided with, and if so, back it up to the other side of the wall. Um, but yeah, <laughs> again, I mean, one ray isn't that expensive, but, uh, if you had to do that same test on say, you know, you and 30 other people, and then you're doing that every frame, it can add up over time for the games I personally work on. Not a big deal because, you know, small stuff with, uh, not, not particularly complicated code or running or anything like that. But uh, I, I guess in a triple A environment, that sort of thing could end up becoming a big deal. Or if you're targeting like super low end hardware, but. Saturday night, catch us off, fellas. Your lost Star demon lord is all right, man. <laughs> Not that they had any gambling in mind. Hey, Tammy. What time are you quitting tonight? 10.30. You sticking around? This just in. Carlton Breezy is today been denied bail on charges. There's our man, Hutch. Robbery, the 43-year-old. Breezy? Last week there sure have been a lot of people asking about him recently. I heard a rumor he had bread tied up in this place. Let's hope someone's keeping it safe for him, huh, partner? Denied bail Downtown. on just armed robbery? I know, that seems weird, right? The pork factory. And we ain't talking sweet and sour here. This guy's a real lowlife by the name of Paolo, calls himself the pig. So this little piggy decides to help himself to a slice of Breezy's action while Breezy is in lockdown. Noodle, thanks so much for the five bits. Love, I'm a little bit late, but thank you. I appreciate it. You didn't expect all that info? I, uh, I'm a big fan of programming talk in general, especially when it's related to game dev, because that's 90% of the programming I do these days. Especially since I've been doing the monthly game jam things. I've been uh, doing more game programming lately, which has honestly been awesome. If I could afford it, I would just quit my job and do game, make games for like full time. Like, I remember you talking about that before, Suzuka, the Panda 3D thing. That's a, uh, a Python engine or something, right? I vaguely remember. I don't. My memory's not great, but <laughs> I vaguely remember us talking about it. I think we were talking about Python around the same time. You can use either C++ or Python, but the game is Python. Okay, okay. Also, I just realized what time it is, so I don't think I'm going to start another mission because 
we only have like three minutes before we get off. But yeah. You got to get to bed. Lame. <laughs> Don't you want to stay up and play some uh, Grounded with Optijack and I, <laughs> Demon Lord? It's not like you have to get up and work tomorrow or anything, right? <laughs> I think some of the language features are only accessible through P Python too. Gotcha. That makes sense. Kind of. <laughs> well, I mean, I assume since... You said, like, the main one is Python. It was probably originally made to use Python, and then uh, they've just slowly been porting features of it over to C++. Um, so in that in that sense, at least, it makes sense. Psh, psh, you. <laughs> nah, jokes, man. Have a good night, Demon Lord. I really do appreciate you coming and hanging out, man. I haven't seen you in a stream for a while, but uh, I appreciate it, my guy. And uh, I hope you have a chance to hop on games with us one of these days. It's fun having a uh, decent-sized group in that game. Grounded. I can't remember the name of it. Oh, boy. Uh, Yeah, well, as far as that goes, man, I think uh, that's pretty much it for the night. What is today? Today's Thursday. Tomorrow, oh, of course, tomorrow's Friday. So tomorrow we're going to be starting... We're not doing RimWorld every other Friday anymore. Uh, I love RimWorld. Had a ton of fun playing it. But I think it's been like... It's been... I don't even remember how many months. It's been a while. I think it's time to switch to something new. So we ran a couple polls, both on Twitch and off of Twitch, and uh, we have decided to start playing Bethesda RPGs. Uh, maybe a couple other Western RPGs thrown in there as well, but mostly the the focus is on Bethesda ones. Um, playing them on not necessarily the hardest, but on a harder difficulty. And I just say not necessarily the hardest because Legendary on Skyrim is a bitch uh, if you're trying to play a mage or anything like that. But anyways, harder difficulty Bethesda games with uh if there's an official survival mode then survival mode um probably some extra rules thrown on top of that things like uh limiting healing and things um if there's not then we'll use either a mod or just kind of somewhat enforce those rules on ourselves like say we have to drink and eat three times a day or something along those lines um no fast travel in any of them and uh limited healing no fast travel can only save for or save at like safe spots whenever you can rest uh whenever there's not a bunch of enemies nearby things like that i'll hammer out the, the exact rules before tomorrow we're gonna start with morrowind and then once we finish that one we'll move on to fallout 3 and then after 3 we'll do oblivion then just back and forth then new vegas then skyrim then fallout 4 uh back and forth and if we beat all of those and we decide to continue playing Bethesda RPGs, then uh, the plan is to do permadeath runs. Same rules, maybe adjusted a little bit, depending on what we learn while playing it, and then uh, trying to beat them again. But if we die, we die uh, and have to start over from the beginning. So that should be fun. I, I think it'll be fun. I love Bethesda RPGs, so I'm excited to finally beat some of them outside of Fallout 3 in New Vegas. Uh, but until tomorrow night, guys, like I said, I think that's all we have time for tonight. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me. The people that already went to bed, I appreciate you. The people who are still here, of course, Suzuka, Demon Lord, if you haven't left yet, and uh, Mr. Noodle, I think, is around here somewhere. Thank you guys as well. I hope to see whoever can make it tomorrow. Until then, though, have a good night, everyone, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.